Hi everyone, Abby here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Now today I'm reviewing the new Lululemon Command the Day backpack. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So I have this backpack in the color Nomad Trench and it did come out in some other color options as well, which you could see on screen. And the current price as of recording is $138 Canadian and $128 American. Now I find usually most of the items in Canada and the US are the same, but sometimes for whatever reason, the bags are more expensive in Canada. And now I'm gonna show you guys the logos on this bag. So the first one you can see right here, very apparently is the silicone Lululemon right there. And it's definitely more of a low key option that doesn't stand out too much. And on the zipper pull, we can see a little Lululemon right here as well. So now I'm gonna show you guys all around and inside this backpack. So at the front right here, we can see there's a front pocket down here. Opening it up, we do have some space in there. We also have a top pocket. And you can see there's a lot of storage in here. On this side of the bag, we have a kind of drop-in pocket that's padded. We have two mesh pockets. They're both about the width of my hand. We have a zippered pocket behind that as well. We have this, you know, internal storage space. And then on the other side of the backpack, we have a drop-in pocket. And at the back of the backpack, the straps here. And we can see that the straps are adjustable. And behind that, we have a little kind of sleeve. This is gonna be our suitcase or trolley compatible sleeve for when you're traveling. One thing I wanted to mention about this backpack is that it feels like your traditional backpack. So a lot of Lululemon's backpacks are like this smooth material, but this feels like your traditional, like, you know, gents board or something, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just something I wanted to mention. And now I'm gonna go ahead and try this on so you can see what it looks like on me. All right, guys, so here's what this backpack looks like on me. I do have it tightened up kind of halfway but you can definitely have it lower if you want to. And you can go ahead and adjust the straps pretty easily. Once they get adjusted, in my experience, they have stayed in place. They haven't loosened up on me. I'm just gonna kind of put it to the lowest option so you guys can see what that looks like. You guys can see it goes pretty low this way. All right guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the feature highlights about this backpack so you can get an idea of you know what it's good for. This is a great backpack for school, for travel, the gym, work, and more. It's made of a water repellent fabric. It has side water bottle pockets. It has a padded 16 inch laptop pocket. It has a suitcase or trolley compatible sleeve. It has adjustable carrying straps, a spacious 25 liter capacity that can hold all of your essentials and much more. And the dimensions of this backpack are 12.8 inches by 6.7 inches by 18.5 inches. And the dimensions of this bag here do fit most airlines carry on capacity. All right guys, so the next thing I'm gonna show you on this backpack is the zipper. Now this is one where I really kind of need two hands all the time, like I gotta really grab on it. It just has more resistance. It's not, it doesn't stick on you, but I do find myself needing two hands sometimes to open and close it. And then the upper zipper here. We do have a dual zipper, guys, which I love because you can open and close your backpack anywhere. Super convenient. No issues here as well. And all right, guys, now I'm going to show you what this backpack can hold, what I would typically put inside of my backpack. And I'm going to pack this as if I were traveling. So the first thing I'm gonna put into this backpack is my phone. So I do have the Z Flip here. So we can fit it both folded and unfolded. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a hand lotion and a sanitizer. Next thing I'm gonna do is put in some water bottles here. I have with me a 500 milliliter standard size water bottle. And these pockets have no stretch, so that's thing I wanted to let you guys know. And they are quite tall. And I also have this Lululemon Back to Life water bottle, and it is very, very tight fit, okay? Let me tell you guys that. You can get it in there if you are persistent, but it's like very, very tight. Coming to the inside of the bag, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my laptop. So I got a 13.5 inch uh, laptop here. 
here we go. And next, right down here, I'm gonna go ahead and put in, I got my dual pouch wristlet. And with that, I'm gonna put in a pen and a highlighter. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my passport in the mesh pocket. And in the one beside that, I have a little word search with me, which I love to bring fun little activity on the plane when you're bored. Putting that in the other mesh pocket, along with a, you know, chapstick as well. And in the middle of the backpack right here, where we got all of this room, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a book, cause it's always fun to read something on the go. So I'm gonna put this in the middle. I'm also gonna put in a little notebook. If I'm going on a long flight and I need to pack food with me because I'm not buying the expensive air, <laughs> airline food, I would go ahead and bring like a lunch bag with me as well. I put that in the middle area here. So that's everything I'd be putting in my backpack for traveling. I'm gonna close it up. When it's full, it looks pretty much the same as when it's not full, so I like that. It's thick enough so you don't see really lines of what's inside of it. And all right guys, here's the tag for anybody interested in this information here. Another thing about this backpack is it's a great option for travel because you know we have different pockets for organization and we have our suitcase or trolley sleeve, which is great for sticking it through your suitcase when you're on the go. I really like backpacks that do have a travel sleeve like this because it's just so easy when you're in the airport or you're going along with your suitcase. You don't have to worry about your backpack kind of flopping on you or anything. It just stays secure to this. Super easy. You don't have to put it on your shoulders. Just very streamlined like this. And it's something that I really do like. I've done a bunch of Lululemon backpack reviews and I have an entire Lululemon backpack playlist. I've gone ahead and left a link from my Lululemon backpack playlist in the description below. And if you guys don't like the look of this one, hey, you might wanna check out this one. This is the Lululemon Triple Zip Backpack, also a new backpack from Lululemon. I've done a full review on this guy right here if you wanna see what it's all about. And you can find that at the top right and linked in the description below. And all right guys, now I'm gonna get into some cons I've noticed about this backpack. So the first one for me is it's expensive. At $138, that's a lot of money to spend on a backpack here. I wish it was cheaper, definitely. On the sale price, I definitely think more fair, but the original price at $138, I think is a bit high in my opinion. I would have loved to see it lower. The next con for me is that I do find the padding on the back of the backpack a little thin. I do find this backpack pretty comfortable to wear. If I'm carrying like kind of like a light or a medium load, I would have liked to see it thicker because if you're carrying heavier items, it can get a bit taxing on your shoulders with padding this thin and there is no lumbar support in this backpack. And then there's also zero padding on the carrying strap here. So I definitely would have liked to see some padding here as well. Now, if you're someone who's carrying light stuff in this, like changes of clothes, maybe you have lunch to work, you're probably not gonna have an issue with that at all. But if you're planning to wear this for school, carrying a bunch of heavy textbooks and water bottles and all that stuff, then you're gonna notice pretty quickly that the straps can get uncomfortable if you do pack it pretty heavy. And the last con for me is that I do find that this material does attract pet hair and lint quite easily. So there's something to definitely keep in mind, especially if you do have a pet, you're gonna need to make sure you're lint rolling it, you know, continuously, just to make sure it looks good. All right, guys, so considering the price, the quality, the color, the capacity, the comfort, and everything like that, I would go ahead and give this a 7.9 out of 10. I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are looking to pick up the Lululemon Command of the Day backpack here, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use. And if there's anything I missed today that you wanna know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.